was talking away and talking away and it was actually going pretty good. This is take three. The first one was so bad that I decided I would just erase it. The second one was going great until the camera clicked off and the red, the red dot's there right now, so I'm good. But what I asked was, do you have those devices in your house that when you talk to it, it can respond or it does things like turns lights on or turns lights off or turns yeah, your um, radio on or... Lex Lexus or, or, or Google or... Alexis, I think, is the one Alexis. that they have. Yeah. Well, anyways, I don't have that, but I do have an iPad that I have set up all the time so that in case someone FaceTimes me, it will, it's all set up so all I have to do is answer it. But um, the other day when we were doing, when I was listening to Bob's live, he happened to say Susie and Who's my... Bob? Huh? Who's Bob? Who's Bob? Oh, For come on. Know. Everybody knows Bob. <laughs> I know Bob. Do you know Bob? Bob, hi. <laughs> Bob from Mountain Crest Farms. That's who Bob is. Anyways, he was doing his live stream and Susie, now I got to tell him who Susie is too. Yeah. Susie well, is so from Out West Homestead. Homestead. <laughs> <laughs> she came into the live and as soon as he said her name, my little iPad says that it was ready for whatever question we had. And I'm thinking, how on earth does he turn that thing on? So I, I tried to get, I think mine is Siri. Siri. And I tried to get it to turn on and it wouldn't turn on. So apparently his tone of voice was just right because normally when I want to talk to her, I have to push a button and then you see this colorful little wave on the bottom and that she's ready for your question. And then she types out your question and then she'll answer you. But um, I couldn't get her to turn on. Then when I was listening to the replay, I came to that part in the video. In fact, I was trying to find it. I, Bob, you've got a lot of extra time on that video because I kept backing it up and going forward, backing it up and going forward, trying to find that spot to see if it was going to do it again. I never did find it, and then I, I just gave up. But it turned her on again, and she commented. It's like, what is, it must be something in the tone of his voice or the sound of his voice that, the machine picks up because um, it's opened right now and it's not doing anything. I'd have to push the button to make her talk. Yep. And um, so I don't know. These things are listening apparently all the time. So yeah, people don't realize how much their devices are listening to them. I know. Your phones, phones and iPads and the iPods and well, I have all the iPads and the iPods. I don't have a phone, but all Jim the does. And everything else. Yeah, and they're all listening. They're all listening. To you all day long. And I talk to them, and they don't answer me back unless I push the button. And I could say thank you, and and they'll say no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I they're still listening. Yep, they're still listening. But I have to push the button. I push the buttons on these things. I have to. Let me see what this one will say. We'll ask it to do something. <laughs> we'll see what it will do. Hi, Siri. Can you tell me a joke? Here's one for the kiddos. What did the baby mosquito say after its first flight? Mama, Mama, did you see? Everyone was clapping for me. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. <laughs> talking to the machines. When you've got nobody else to talk to, talk to the machine. <laughs> I hope that picked up. This is the one that doesn't have the very good volume. Yeah. The other one's plugged in. It's charging. And the one that I have opened all the time, that one's way over there. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that little joke that Siri told us. And... Um, We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.